What is going on my broskies? My name is Toadski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're here with some Pirate Rumble action and uh, today's whole video section is going to be dedicated to the brand new Final Tap Luffy. So today I'm going to be uploading the showcase video which hopefully you guys have gone ahead and had a look at but we're also going to go ahead and look at him in Pirate Rumble. So Today, here is the team that we have built for him. Uh, we're going to be using Final Tap Luffy with the other quick boys. We've got Kaido, Magellan, Akainu, Tezoro. The whole quick squad is here. Let's go ahead and talk about Luffy before we head into this video today. So, Monkey D. Luffy, his his Final Tap, his Final Tap Luffy stuff is pretty cool, right? So, here is his ability in, uh, in Pirate Rumble. He is going to go ahead at a 26 CT, target himself for level 7 attack up for 5 seconds, and then enemies at a large range are hit with 2 times his attack, and then target it's two quick teammates for 70% chance of haste. So a very similar effect to what Magellan has, where he has a chance to like put them to the top of the attack order, and that's great. So that's awesome. 26 CT for that is pretty good in my eyes. And then his ability, so his, uh, his passive in Pirate Rumble gives your quick teammates level 5 health, and he gives himself an additional level 5 health. And then every time a teammate is defeated, he gives himself an additional level 5 attack. And when there's 70 seconds remaining, he's going to give your quick teammates level 7 speed so pretty interesting ability but it's not super broken i think if this ability was a lot better like if it was ct reduction or if it was something like an attack buff like rather than it be hp um i think it would have made a little little bit more interesting but overall uh he's not the greatest unit in pvp he's okay but he's definitely not the most quintessential unit for the pvp teams like what we've seen with magellan or kaido or a kaido for example also evading special buy and giving 30% damage reduction versus strength teams. Pretty nice to have as well. But uh, let's go ahead and use this team in PvP. Pretty interested to go ahead and use Luffy for the first time in Rumble. Let's go ahead and see what happens. Alright, so the first team we're going to be taking on is going to be the OG Slasher team. Though it is kind of weird because it doesn't have Odin uh, and doesn't have Kizaru. So I think this should be a relatively easy win. But then you gotta, you gotta watch out though, because Law, he has that passive that can just debuff our Driven. I think he debuffs Powerhouse as well. I can't remember exactly. So that kind of sucks. But uh, let's go ahead and see. What are our abilities looking like right now? Oh, those are pretty juicy looking abilities. Look at those. Look at those stats. And that's starting from the jump, dude. That's pretty nuts. I mean, Tezora is going to be nice because he gives us a little bit of CT increase. He also does have a bit of CT increase, but I think it's only for Psy characters because of Law. So only Law and Roger are going to get uh, the benefits off of that. But our specials are looking pretty close to being ready. So he's going to launch Doflamingo first. So uh, Magellan is taking a lot of damage from the get-go, which is not good to see. Roger's going to give us a bit of debuffs, which is not ideal either. So he's really getting these benefits here. But Luffy's already going to be launching here, which is really good. Uh, not terrible damage, but I was kind of expecting it to be a bit better. He, I think he actually hasted Magellan. And did Magellan actually haste anyone? Uh, no. Oh, I think he hasted Akainu. So I think that's pretty good. Getting the chain of haste going on there. Pretty good array of damage right there. Very, very nice. We do have our Kaido to come in. Kaido is going to be a very big heavy lifter for our team. So we really need him to come through. He's going to get a health cut and some defense increase here. But we're about to reduce his defense with the Kaido special ability. Let's see what we do here. Dude, I love Kaido in PvP. He is redonky donk, dude. We will be getting a special off of Tezora. My Tezora is actually not max level. I think it's like level 6, level 7, level 8, something like that. So it doesn't really do that much damage. Bit of fixed damage. Uh, it gives defense increase as well, which is kind of nice. But at this point, point uh it's just gg there's not really much he can do super mask does do a lot of damage but he is dead and luffy's gonna get the final blow boom 5500 damage against law you know that's what happens when your defense goes to zilch bro there it is so pretty successful first team nice very very good uh let's go ahead and see what other teams we can find for luffy to go ahead and take on in this video today so this is probably not an ideal situation to be in. This is uh, about as optimal as optimal can get. I mean, I don't know about that bench. That bench is kind of whack. But uh, we've got Shiryu, Magellan, Kaido, and Akainu on the enemy side of the field. I'm kind of scared. Uh, I really hope that Luffy is going to be the difference in this team. But I really wish I had that Shiryu, man. Shiryu is a pretty big difference. I believe he does... Does he do CT increase? I can't remember exactly what that what that uh, what that Shiryu does. I know his special does a lot of damage, which is kind of nice. 
But uh, I mean, I can't believe those stats. Those stats are crazy from Jump. Yeah, look at his CT. He's got level 10 CT. He's got Magellan. Uh, I don't know. We'll, we'll see. How, we'll see how things go here. But ah, uh, man, I really hope that Luffy's able to haste and get our characters to the top. It really depends on who's able to launch their specials first. And I mean, looking at things, it's kind of even right now. So I'm not really too sure what to be, what, what to really expect here. Al Qaeda is the first character to attack. That's actually huge. That's very big. Um, his Shiryu is going to launch, and he does two times. Wow, that's actually a pretty good amount of damage. Our Kainu is going to launch. Wow, we actually got pretty lucky with the fact that our characters are attacking first. His Kaido is about to launch now, but I mean, at this point, I don't really think there's much that he can really do. We're about to have uh, the Magellan and the Luffy ready to launch too, so okay, we're looking really, really good right now. Defense reduction, damage, boom. Nice. Who do we actually KO there? He hasted uh, Kainu to the top. We KO'd the uh, Bellamy, which is not too important. And then our Luffy is about to go as well. Woo! Let's go, Luffy! There we go. Looking very, very nice. Tesoro, you know, he's not really here for his special. He's here for his passive, which is a very, very good passive at that. Um, it looks like our Kaido might come through and actually get the W here. Actually, no. Yeah, oh, there it is. He does get the W. Oh, dude, like how much? Okay, only 3,300. Was, ex was expecting a little bit more, but, you know, you love to see it. Kaido is, uh, is a pretty good guy. So, you know, Luffy... And the, and the Magellan, just both together, using their specials, doing lots of damage, defense reduction with the Magellan, hasting, a great combination of units so far. We're just absolutely dominating these teams. You love to see it, man. You absolutely love to see it. Okay, I saw this team and I had to challenge it because it is a it is a strength team. Now, strength teams are not known for their durability. So I feel like we're probably going to get the easy dub here. But, but, you can't always say that. You never know what can happen in Pirate Rumble, legit. You never know what could happen, but um, one thing is they have Final Tap Kid, and he's uh, one of the characters I'm going to be using in another video, so definitely look forward to that. Final Tap Kid is very interesting because he he actually does damage that bypasses enemies' defense. So even though right now we've got level 7 defense, it doesn't matter. He acts as if I have zero defense, so that's a really cool thing that kid has. And I mean, look at their attack, already 17 power, and they do have specials that do increase their attack power as well. So really hoping we're able to get our specials to launch first. It looks like we will. Akainu is ready to go. Akainu does extra damage to strength units too so this is pretty much gg dude look at that damage they're almost nearly dead with one special activation you literally cannot get better than that but kid is not going to launch here kaido will launch and i'm uh, pretty much they're all dead right holy man and oh luffy luffy get the dub get the dub luff oh let's go luff let's go all right so the whole bench is coming on the field now and like it's already over like <laughs> it's just it's already over at this point i mean magellan's ready to go and Magellan's going to decrease their defense and also do a lot of damage. But what's going on here? It's taking a... What is happening right now? Oh my god. Okay. So, oh, Zora actually going to come in. Okay, luckily the timer is actually quite high. So, he doesn't really do that much damage. To Zora, a bit of fixed damage, a bit of defense. Nothing special there. And we want Magellan to launch here. A Kaido is already ready to go again. This actually might kill. Ooh, almost. Almost. Okay. So, he did haste. Who did, did he... Okay, he didn't haste anyone. But then we got a Kaido coming in. And... And boom. Oh, okay, we got the golden fist getting dub right there. Bro, pretty solid team, I gotta say. So if you do have Luffy, he's a pretty solid addition to the quick teams, though I don't feel like it's the most optimal because I feel like his passive doesn't help that much. I mean, I guess if you are going up against a relatively offensive team like the strength team, you know, having a Kaino on the team just helps you break through it without a problem. But I think it would be better to have like PvP Shiryu. Because I feel like he adds more to the team than what Luffy does. Because what Luffy provi provides to the team, I guess if you don't have your own Legend Magellan, I guess Luffy would somewhat be a replacement for him. But in the grand scheme of things, if you already have Magellan, I feel like Luffy doesn't really matter. Plus, another thing you have to remember about these Final Tap units is that they are difficult to rainbow, which means that they will not have the most optimal stats compared to other characters, even though, you know, rainbowing them doesn't give them, you know, the most broken stats ever. Um, you know, it is it is a bit of a difference, just to say. But Luffy still relatively impressive. I was relatively impressed with what he provided. The fact that he does an attack up buff and then does damage is a pretty big addition to this unit overall. So let me know your thoughts and opinions about Luffy in Pyro Rumble. If you guys have had access to this Luffy character, let me know your thoughts and opinions 
opinions and what you thought of him thus far. And uh, in the next set of videos, you guys will see it either be lore or it's going to be kids videos tomorrow. So definitely stay tuned for that. Really hope you guys have enjoyed this video today. And if you guys did enjoy it, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to date with all of the content that I post on my channel, including more One Piece Treasure Cruise content, make sure to hit the subscribe button down below. But on that, guys, I'll see you guys within the next video.